Welcome to Shift 4 and this video about our Cook Anamorphic Eye Prime Lenses. Anamorphic lenses were first widely used in the 1950s to achieve a wider frame than the standard 35mm 4x3 film was able to produce at the time. Since then they've been used in the production of countless feature films, which is why the anamorphic frame and characteristics are subconsciously ingrained as more cinematic than that of spherical lenses. Anamorphic lenses achieve this look by squeezing the image onto the camera sensor by two times horizontally to then be de-squeezed in post. As these two times lenses were originally designed to work with 35mm film, they work best with cameras that have larger sensors such as the Arri Alexa 4x3 and the Alexa Mini. Using anamorphic lenses with a 4x3 sensor will achieve a frame of 266 by one which is usually cropped at the sides to result in a more classic 2.39 by one cinemascope frame. Anamorphic lenses can be used with standard Super 35 16 by nine sensors, but as the sensors aren't as tall as four by three sensors, the field of view is reduced vertically. This produces a frame that appears even wider and requires more cropping, therefore throwing away most of the recorded information. The principal characteristic of anamorphic lenses is the oval bokeh. This is the shape of the areas of the frame that are out of focus. Spherical lenses, which have circular irises, go out of focus evenly in all directions, producing an even softness. Anamorphic lenses distort vertically the more out of focus the image becomes, generally making for a more interesting and unusual background. Anamorphic lenses also produce a flare that's often highly sought after. However, not all anamorphics flare in the same way. Cook anamorphics are coated in an attempt to reduce flaring, but can still give the iconic horizontal flare, as well as some interesting halos when used wide open. Cook anamorphic eye prime lenses share the same characteristics as all other Cook lenses. Much like Cook's S4 and S5 lenses, they provide a much warmer look than lenses by other manufacturers. All of Cook's anamorphics are fully colour matched with their other lenses, so if a shoot requires both anamorphic and spherical lenses, they'll match effortlessly. Cook's anamorphic eye primes also have flexibility in style. Shoot wide open and you'll get very fast fall off at the sides, more veil flaring giving a lower contrast and consequently a vintage anamorphic look. Stop the iris down to T4 or lower and you'll get sharpness across the whole frame and greater control of flares and contrast, resulting in a cleaner, more modern look.
information about these lenses or any other pieces of equipment, or for technical advice for your project, contact Shift 4.